All right, YouTube, I am going to make a as quick as possible video on my 1966 Mustang that I'm going to be putting up for sale here. It is uh, early March 2022, so I'm going to have this thing listed here in the next couple weeks. I'm just kind of getting everything laid out and together, so if you're interested, leave it in the comments. But I am going to give you a walk around, so that way if there's anything in the pictures that you don't see uh, hopefully this video helps out so i acquired this car it was uh, in the possession of my dad's friend for about the past 26 years in california it sat in his garage and in 2017 he decided to start putting it back together and he drove it for about a year and he lived in palm springs he drove it all around palm springs and then decided that he was going to start uh, redoing the engine compartment. So as you can see, there's uh, fresher paint than would be factory and some new parts and pieces on this and it is not complete. I did get it running yesterday off of a can of gas hooked to the fuel pump and a little bit of starting fluid and it ran for about 10 seconds. So I didn't go beyond that. I just wanted to make sure that everything sounded fine and it fired up. So that's the extent of what I know about the running condition. He said it drove great. He loved it and parked it in the end of 2017 and it just sat in his garage so uh, for the last number of years it's been a very dry climate parked in a garage stored in a garage with literally a mountain of stuff on top of it when i pulled it out it was i mean stuff uh, against the side on top of it like it was everywhere so um i bought a new battery the other day nothing fancy it's just a battery that works um so I will just go through this and let you guys look and see what is done, what isn't done. A lot of the missing pieces, like the strut bar, um, you'll see over in the parts when I get over to the parts and pieces that are included with this. Uh, on the front end, the headlight bezels that hold the he headlights are in the trunk of the car. And then as well as this piece that would normally go there, it's back in the parts also. So it was cool. It was a black, original black plate California car. Um, so headlights are back there, as well as these uh, running lights and turn signals are also back there. So there's the hood. I just have it off because I was working on it. They are original four lug wheels underneath there. And the tires are code date 17 because that's when he drove it. And the tires are in good enough shape that you could probably drive on them. I don't see any reason you couldn't. So I'll go around the whole outside first and then I'll crawl underneath it so you guys can see that. So there is little bit of Bondo in this panel right here that you can see. And this area back here, this is not from the road. This was uh, on the inside of the trunk. There was three quarts of oil that had spilled out. So over time sitting in the garage, that kind of made a mess right there. So that's not, um, that was wedged down inside the trunk right there. There was three quarts of oil. You got your shag carpet samples. <laughs> so some pretty cool stuff in here. So there is a new lock set for the whole car. You have a new ignition lock set, you have a new door lock set, and you have a new trunk lock set for this car. So, and all the trunk assembly, the latch assembly is in here as well.
So the same as the other side, it looks like, as you can see it, like right in here, there's a little bit of mud right in this area. Inside it does have the pony interior, which is kind of cool. Uh, windows operate up and down like they should for what that's worth. So obviously there is cracking just from age. There is a whole new headliner and trim kit that is this white color in the parts and pieces that are included with it. So there's a shot of the interior. If I missed anything guys, like I said, let me know. I will make another video. Sorry about the light. There we go. Alright, so here's all the parts and pieces. You've got all new shocks for it. It looks like he ordered Scott Drake, which apparently is a big name in Mustang. So there's a ton of Scott Drake parts in here. So there's a new battery tray, four brand new shocks. Uh, that's the battery top piece that holds the battery on. There's those strut supports for the front. There's your latch assembly. There's your hood hinges. There's the whole new headliner, which is pretty cool. It's actually old school. So the date on this thing is from, gosh, I don't even know when it's from, but it's an old invoice. And this is a whole new headliner and trim with assembly instructions. Uh, valve cover gaskets, spark plugs. There's a exhaust manifold gasket in there. Chrome valve cover if you're into that kind of thing. A brand new HEI distributor from Summit that back in the day was 200 and I don't know, it was like 250 bucks. There was another invoice. There it is. <clears throat> so, 250 bucks. Uh, yeah. When was that? That was bought in 2016, so that was right when he was getting it running and he never got the HEI um, distributor in it. There's a new coil, there's those lights that I was talking about, headlights, front turn signal, some trim pieces, a new set of plug wires, really nice. Nice set of plug wires, uh, the original air cleaner for it. And everything's there on the underneath side as well. An extra antenna. Um, there's a lot of buckets and little containers of nuts and bolts. So that's always good to have. Uh, there's those um, ignition key set, a ignition, um, the housing, new lock sets. There's some bumperettes for the rear, even though the rear ones are fine. So lots of little miscellaneous parts and pieces that are included with this. Right there is that uh, piece that goes between the bumper and the lower cowl. And it's in fine shape. It's just like the rest of it. So, all right. So now I'm going to crawl under it and show you guys what the underneath side looks like, if you can see it. So you can tell it's been in a very dry climate, which is cool. I'll crawl under the uh, middle of it so you can see that. There we go. That's a better view. So 
So, hopefully that shows you guys everything you need to see. Just for the heck of it, I will crawl under the front and then the other side. Because I know there's a lot of people. Probably more information is better when you're buying a old car like this. So, hopefully this shows you what you need to see. down the passenger side and that will be a wrap so, one more shot of the side it's super straight really really is a straight car So, like I said, um, if you have any questions on it, please leave it in the comments. Um, I'll do one more quick walk around. I guess you can see the roof in case you missed it. There's all the parts and pieces. Here is that trim piece. Inside of the trunk. Exactly what's going on. I'll get the headliner that's not there, but there's another one. Oh, you know what? I don't think I opened the passenger side door. I'll run and do that real quick. All right, guys, hopefully I covered everything, showed everything that I could possibly show. And like I said before, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. It is March, we'll call it March 10th, 2022 today. And I will probably be posting this about four or five days from the video upload on Inland Empire Craigslist, California, on Mojave County, Arizona Craigslist, on Las Vegas Craigslist, as well as Phoenix Craigslist. Those are typically the four areas that I hit because that covers a lot of people. Get the Utah crowd, get the East Coast that's looking for a rust-free project that typically shop Inland Empire or Phoenix area. So if you see it on there for sale, give me a call if you have any questions or if you're interested in it. It does have a clean California title that is signed off and ready to go. So again, it's a 1966 Mustang, factory six cylinder Mustang with the Pony interior package. And there is all the parts and pieces that come with it. And as of yesterday, I had it running for about 10 seconds, but it does need putting back together to be a running and driving car. So you're not getting in this car and driving away. You need to bring a trailer and there's totes that I can give you to put all the hardware and pieces in. But it's a good project. Great bones. It's in good shape. So thanks for watching. <laughs>